Welcome back to another episode of Daniel Plays. I'm Daniel, and today we are playing Brawl Stars. For those of you guys who aren't in the know, Sprout has just been released into the game. Ah, uh, 350 gems, guys. That's guaranteed Mythic Brawler Sprout right there. But I mean, I ain't balling like that. I only got 100 gems on this account. Uh, let's see what my drop rate is. I'm going to open up all the boxes that I have today in hopes of pulling a Mythic Brawler with a 0.27%. <sighs> Wish me luck, guys. Let's go. Big boxes first. Uh, I don't even need those power points because I'm not upgrading any Brawlers on this account. This is my mini account. All level 1. All right, 74 boxes to go. Let's go. Let's see how many boxes I... Really? Really? Guys, oh my, how many boxes was that? 74, two regular brawl boxes, and three big boxes to unlock the newest brawler into the game. A mythic brawler at that. And keeping my mini account with all brawlers available in the game, guys. What does that mean? That just means I get to collect some of these star tokens because I kind of ignored the mini until new brawler was released. I got him. Let's hop into a match. All right, now I'm pretty sure this is gonna be with uh, against bots. Hello. But I just wanna look at it. Oh my days, that's right, I got Sprout. Um, I haven't actually played him, right? So it'd be nice to see. All right, so I know that his thing bounces as far as his attack goes. I'm not sure if, okay, so no. I was gonna say, I'm not sure if it has to bounce and then uh, it actually lands damage. If it actually hits somebody, uh, before it, it finishes the second bounce and it'll just do damage just like that and all right so how did we lose the first siege bot all right well hopefully they're bots all right so I, where do i use this at uh put it right there all right so oh, okay i'm gonna die right here all right so i made him move around but nobody's really attacking him so this is probably gonna be a loss right here uh no okay so the bots that are out obviously people that we're playing again didn't know that that was a good time to push in i guess or maybe they all died i don't know but definitely bots guys look at that they're just kind of standing still oh uh, his range isn't too bad um let's see here one two i mean the damage is a thousand per hit but i mean that's just base level i'm gonna have to get used to that and stop you in your tracks right there and i gotta get used to it. i don't know if you saw but it bounced it actually bounced in front of that wall and bounced back to me as far as my attack. But I mean, all right, I just gotta get used to, it. oh man, I gotta get used to landing my shots and up close battles might, might be a little hard because the thing does bounce as far as the attack goes and only a thousand damage. Ugh, this is gonna be a little difficult to push. I do gotta uh, keep in mind that it's a siege and I really hate siege. That's why I'm probably not playing the best right here even though we're playing against bots. We're gonna win right here, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely not gonna be playing Siege with uh, with Sprout. You know, unless there's a star token needs to get collected. Uh, I may. I'm, I'm definitely gonna try to stay away from it. All right, so this is where I'm interested to see how he goes against Brawlers 1v1 in an open map in Showdown. Now, once again, I understand that I'm, being, I'm playing against bots uh, most likely, but still, this will give me a little, uh, all right, what do I gotta do as far as distance goes? Um, how is the range when compared to someone jumping right on top of me and trying to take me out? All right, so see, that's where he's at. And I couldn't land a shot. I can't land a shot. It, like, bounces. I'm not sure if it bounced over him or it just bounced past him. But let's see. Landing shots. All right, so that one only got the kill because it bounced back from that wall. So there might be something I got to practice. And I should be able to get that kill right there, the extra bounce. All right, so the extra bounce gave me a little increase in that range. Not, I mean, as far as throwers go, I'm, I, I feel like I'm okay with throwers. Uh, mind you, my first, actually this, this account was created initially because of an academy uh, band I was in just to help out. Let me throw that back right there. And uh, no, I'm probably dead. Uh, okay, so obviously if that needle would have attacked me, I would have been dead. But um, Dynamite happened to be the first brawler that I just randomly pushed. And this was before the... Uh, the trophy chain damn i can't even land the shots when they're right on you all right this is something i'm definitely gonna have to practice with all right so i'm trying to throw it in front of me okay so that's not the way to do it don't throw it in front of you guys because it's not gonna like bounce backwards if you do that and 
he gonna kill me? No, because he's a noob. What a noob! All right, so I'm probably gonna die to that Nita. Back up, son! All right, I'm not sure how much I'm supposed to take out the Nita and her bear. This is probably gonna be it for me. So obviously, Nita's gonna be one of the hard counters if she has her bear. Um, yeah, there's really nothing I could do right here, guys. I'm gonna do my best to try to win it, though, and see what happens. Does she just keep walking at me? There it is. I might get this one after all. Let's see here. No, never mind, never mind. Oh, I missed that up too. All right, so I'm really gonna have to practice the, the close-up shots when somebody's on me, and then exactly where to put my super to make the barrier in between me and the brawler that's chasing me. All right, here we go. We are in Brawl Ball. Now, Brawl Ball should be one of the most annoying maps that you're gonna find yourself if you're playing against, oh, excuse me, if you're playing against a Sprout because I mean, if the walls can trap you inside your goal, that, that's that's crazy. That, that's just crazy. Why would you add that? Why would you allow that to happen? I don't know, but what is this guy doing? Let me stop you in your tracks right there. And I'm missing all these shots. Look at it. I cannot land a shot. All right, so do I score? Do I not score? I don't know. Might as well. Um, dude, I really want to see what happens when these guys get trapped. Let me see here. Throw that right here. Let me see that get built by super. All right, so I want to kill one of you guys just so I can throw my, my super to block him in. All right, so look at that. Shelly died. And I uh, can't, can't kill anybody else. No. All right, so let me throw this right here. So then that Shelly's just trapped. That's just kind of her being stuck there, trapped. And I don't know why that coat did that, whatever. All right, so then they just kind of <laughs> that. The bottom primo straight opened up the rest. All right, so they, they stay trapped, and you could just like pretty these. much uh, farm your super. I mean, how dumb is that? Let's throw that right there. Now I got you trapped. You can literally just walk around now, and I got that El Primo trap. That should be a go, I think. No, nope, never mind. Never mind. Uh, what if I throw that there? That, I didn't mean to push it to me. All right, so let's see here. Throw that there. Kind of throwing my shots. Maybe I can get a super. All right, so I'm going to try to take out the bear. Uh, I thought that first shot was actually going to bounce over that bear. So, like I said, whenever somebody's really running up on you, it's going to be difficult for you to, to range them. And that's coming. No, oh, I was going to try to throw that off to the side just for giggles. And, uh, yeah, all right. So, once I start playing with actual real enemies, we'll see how that goes. And here we go, guys. Playing some Jam Grab. Now, this may be one of his better modes. I'm not sure about this map in particular. But for sure, I, I, someone who can build a wall in front of the mine, in front of the gem mine, it sounds, sounds pretty broken to me. So we'll see how that, oh my goodness, come on, die. There you go. All right, so if I get my super, I mean, where's the best spot to put it? I can either put it right in front of me so I can maintain this lane, right? So now nobody can really attack me. Obviously, they have another thrower. But then that thrower is kind of stuck trying to attack me or try to push me back because nobody else is gonna be really going to be able to get at me. Or, I mean, like I said, or you could just put it at the mine itself. And that might be the better spot if you're having if you're having success uh, pushing on your lane and getting kills. I mean, look at it. Right here. Bam. Okay, that wasn't far enough. All right, so I got to try to get a little bit more centered. And I think, did everybody die? No. All right, so let me see. Put it right there. Booyah. Now everybody's kind of, I'm not going to say trapped in their spawn, but they can't really push forward. And we got... The entire control to the, the, the gem mine. So that's actually going to be pretty useful right there. Uh, so maybe this map isn't too bad for, for Sprout. For anybody wanting to push Sprout to 1 million trophies right here. This is probably going to be it. He can pretty much... Uh, see, I don't know if it's called spawn trapping. But at least keep them away from uh, from the gem mine all by himself. He can use it to, to kind of assist him with winning lane. And do I have bots on my team too? Because that's what they're playing like. All right, so you just throw that right in front. Bam! It just blocks them completely. So now they got to walk all the way around in order for them to try to even advance and try to stop the, the, the countdown. Throw another one right there, and then you kind of screw. You're like, all right, now you really got to walk all the way around. Guys, jam grab. You know what? It may actually be Sprout's best game mode, even more so than Brawl Ball. I don't know. Leave a comment down below. If you guys unlock Sprout, where do you plan on pushing him? Where do you think he's going to be uh, the most efficient to push? 
And then after you play a while, come back and let me know if you're right, you're wrong. I don't know. Uh, this is the first look that I've had on him. So lucky that I was able to pull him with only, what, five boxes? Uh, three, that's a nine, ten. I guess 11 brawl boxes total because a big box counts as three, right? So there it is, guys. Rank 500 push with level one sprout. That's going to be interesting. Uh, you know, it's just going to be, is it going to be easy? Is it going to be hard? I don't know, but he's the only brawler. Obviously, I don't have to 500. The newest brawler in the game, guys. The, the, the latest mythic released to the game. Those are the stats. That's what they are. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's episode. And like always, until next time, have a good one.